good afternoon everyone good afternoon sir good afternoon so we were discussing different social functions that we use in language today we have the an exercise on the social function of possibility this is the social function that we will be discussing today possibility so possibility uh, can be indicated in many ways can be be maybe meet be it so these are the different ways in which we can uh, indicate a possibility okay There must be it's a plus only different ways in which we can indicate possibility and it can we can also indicate negative possibility by saying it uh, it won't be or it and be etc so these are also ways in which we can indicate negative possibility so negative possibility is also indicated by using such terms so, so possibility is the social function of indicating probability okay so that is uh, a method in which we can this is the methods by which we can describe these situations so we can use these structures for example we have a picture so the instruction there as activity says you have to look at these pictures guess what they could represent and tell them to your partner use the following words in your sentences so the words that they have indicated are given here you see you can use these words to indicate uh, the structure so you can use these uh, structures could be will be maybe must be might be or negative possibility also it won't be or couldn't be can't be so there is no single answer you can have any answer any answer can be given for this pictures because they are all uh, not real pictures uh, they are uh, just uh, some images which can have any meaning for example the first image uh, can be described as can be seen by somebody as a, but it could be okay so i will describe the first picture as it could be uh, this is uh, one one way of looking at the first picture it could be a butterfly sitting on a cloth line so can you uh, can you uh, imagine something else about that picture Can you imagine something else about that picture? What else can it be? You can. It can be something else also. I'm talking about the image A, the first image, uh, first image. Can you think of it as something else? Very good, Nandana. This could be a butterfly sitting on a window also. Okay, very good. So you can imagine that those are windows, okay, to the the two halves of the window, 
and a butterfly is sitting on the window very good this could be a butterfly sitting on a window okay and uh, you can use different structures also to indicate possibility okay it might be okay a butterfly is sitting on a mirror okay very good hana thank you for that it could be a butterfly sitting on a mirror uh, it, it can also be something else it you know yes it can be a ribbon very good it can be a ribbon uh, it can be a gift it can be a gift uh, with a ribbon on it very good might be a gift or a, or a greeting card okay a greeting card with a ribbon on it okay in card with a ribbon on it so that is also the envy way in which we can describe it very good a butterfly sitting on a rope okay very good yeah this this could be a, a butterfly which is a very good it is a necktie wonderful nandana it is it could be a necktie of a waiter caught in a lift okay it, it might be it might be the necktie or a bow tie of a, a waiter caught uh, uh, on the door of a lift could be the bow tie bow tie bow tie no the waiters get on the tie on so it might be the bow tie of a waiter caught on the door of a lift that is a very imaginative answer nandana it is it is or a waiter lift to the carriage lift ada inna munbe lift iyala agathe full aayittu kerunnenu munba lift door adanju kayumbo what happens the bow tie is caught in the door so if this could be the image of that and those those two part panels could be the the door of the lift so that is a very imaginative way of looking at it another way of looking at it is, is that uh, these two could be uh, the, the, the the two parts of the same image one could be a mirror okay so one could be a mirror and the uh, other could be the real thing so the first part is actually projected so you can see that one is the heart you can see the first part as the heart and the second uh so they can see that the second part the heart is actually seen as a mirror image you can see that the heart is actually seen as a mirror image in the second part so the second panel is a mirror the first panel is the actual thing and the heart is uh, actually projected in the uh, mirror as an image so that is also one way of looking at it thank you for all those responses that's wonderful that you uh, responded so well so let us look at the second image now what is the second image that is b you can have any number of responses uh, uh, you can make your imagination fly as high as possible the higher you imagine the beautiful the more beautiful the results would be so uh, what do you feel immediately as you see the image b what could it be so you can use such structures like very good yes it could be the neck of a giraffe yes thank you neeraj for that wonderful response it could be the neck of a giraffe very good okay yes very good aishwarya satyar it could be uh, it might be Uh, dots on the tail of a dog very good it might be the dots on the tail of a dog very nice thank you very good okay it can even be tail of a leopard okay it might be the dots on the tail of a leopard okay <laughs> so that is also a very good response It, it very good it might be a broken window pane also wonderful it might be the dots of the yes very nice very nice thank you for those response very good 
bro it could be the broken window pane also it may be dots on the tail of a tiger or a leopard okay might be yes okay it uh, it also could be uh, it could be a road full of uh, We are road full of potholes. That is the Kuriya Kanaranya road in the picture. That is the name. Or yeah. Yes. Very good. It could be old wooden piece. Very nice. Very good. Very good, Hana. Thank you for those response. It would be more wooden piece. Might be an. It could be a painting also. Yes, by somebody. Might be an abstract painting. Okay. So you can imagine so many different things for this. Very nice. Thank you for those responses. Okay, let us uh, now move on. Yes, uh, Soja, it is uh, very good. It, it could be a stream with uh, stones on it. Okay, with small water flow with stones. Yes, very good. It, it, could, it could be the image of a stream with stones, which you can see below the water flowing. Very nice imagination. Soja, that is very good. Okay, so... Let us look at the next image. What is C? Very good. It could be the wheel of a toy. It might be the wheel of a toy. Yes. Very nice. It might be the wheel of a toy. Or it could be even the close-up of the wheel of an automobile, of a car. Okay. It might be the wheel of a toy. Be the wheel of a toy. Okay. Anything else? Any other suggestion? Hmm? Can you imagine something else? Very good. It, it could be the wheel of a bullock cart. Wonderful, Soja. It would be a bullock cart. That is very nice. Imagination. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Anything else? Wonderful. Two circles and two rectangles. Very good, Neeraja. That is a uh, very high, very good imagination. There could be two uh, circles and two rectangles. So that is very imaginative. It might be, okay. So we write it like this. It might be two circles and two rectangles. Okay. It could be uh, something else also like this. Uh, wonderful. It is the front view of a ring. More good imagination. It might be the Front view of a ring. Very good. It could be a toffee also, mitai le, you know. And the side of both in a little mitai. It could be a, mit a toffee. Okay, a sweet. Okay, so that is very good imagination from all of you. So 
I think we can move on to the next image, if possible. So that is B. Imagine, imagine what could B be? B, the, the picture. What can you imagine that to be? Very nice, Soja. It is food and water, tea and snacks. Then, yeah, uh, Aparna is saying that biscuits and a cup of tea. Okay, so you can, according to your imagination, you can think that it, yeah, so I can say that it uh, it may be, or it might be, or it must be. Okay, you can use all these different structures and then say it must be uh, PH and A. Uh, okay. It must be three eggs and a glass of milk. So that is uh, that is how you get, actually you have to write this possibility structure also. Then only the sentence becomes complete. It must be three eggs and a glass of milk. So okay, it can be anything. Not just eggs. It can be any kind of food. It can be at least okay and a bucket of chutney. Okay, it could. It also looks like a bucket. So uh, it might. It could be three uh, idlis. The yes. So this is also uh, something which you can imagine as anything. You can also. Uh, uh, say that very good. It may be a plate with snacks and a glass of coffee. Very good, Charmili. Could be a plate of snacks. It could be a fruit, even. Yes, Anjana Santosh. It could be a fruit, could be the, uh, some dates and a glass of lime juice. Okay. It could be a fruit. Very good, Anjana. Thank you for those response. Okay, so I can, it might be the, we can give another, another very different view also. Uh, if you have observed the wash basins, okay, so, uh, it can, it could, it might be the whole of a sink also, okay. Can, can you have observed sinks uh, where you wash uh, plates or the wash basin? The whole holes look like this. Look like this, and it could might be the whole of a sink and a glass of water placed on top of it. Okay, on top of the uh, sink or the wash basin, a glass of water is placed so that you can wash yourself. So that is also one way of looking at it. Okay, the last uh, picture is uh, picture E. Here you can here you can describe it in wonderful Nandana. It might be a dark sky. It must be yes. It might be night blackboard. Wonderful Aishwarya. It might be a night sky or it might be a blackboard, a black paper. <laughs> Very good. So many responses are there. This is where you can imagine as much as you can. It might be the picture of a night sky. Nice, that is very nice. Blackboard is also good. Dark sky, black sheet of paper. It might be a black box. Yes, Anjana. It might be a black box. Very good. It might be a black box. Because the picture is black, you can say anything. I can also say uh, negative uh, possibility also. So I can say it couldn't be a sheet of paper. Okay? So negative possibility can also be indicated. It uh, couldn't be also. It couldn't be a white. Uh, sheet of 
the negative possibility can also be indicated by using uh, couldn't, uh, wouldn't, may not be, etc. So negative possibility can also be indicated. So, okay, so I can also describe it as it must be, uh, it must be the picture of a, okay, picture of a, Second, I'm going to type it. This is the one thing. Uh, it could be what could it be? It must be the picture of a black cat in a dark room. So that's a very imaginative way of looking at it. So where is the black cat? It cannot be seen because it is black and the, the room is also dark. So this is a very imaginative way of looking at the same picture. It might be the picture of a black cat in a dark room. So that is also a very imaginative way of looking at this very same picture. So we have used these words, all these words to indicate a possibility that is could be must be will be maybe might be etc and negative can be indicated by using such structures as won't be okay couldn't be can't be etc so all these three indicate negative possibility okay negative possibility can be indicated so uh, one for example that we discussed is given here it could the first, this is related to the first image could be a butterfly on a rope or it might be the tail of a kite so that is uh, related to the first picture that we saw could be the uh, I have a butterfly sitting on a rope or a or the tail of a kite now let us uh, move on to the next section this section is related to listening, which is a very important skill of the four skills that we have to learn in every module. That is listening, speaking, reading and writing is shortly referred to as LSRW. And in that, listening is a very important skill. So we have this I am all ears section in all the four modules. So this section with I am all ears will deal with listening to passages so this activity seven in this section is related to uh, listening that is here you have uh, the social function of obligation being focused okay obligation obligation is a uh, related to okay so this is something uh, which is related to need okay duty etc okay. so that is the meaning of obligation that when you have to do something when it is your duty to do something that is obligation so when you indicate obligation we use uh, such uh, terms as to need it must you must do this you have to do this you need to do this or you ought to do this so such terms are used when indicating obligation. So these are the uh, terms that we will uh, with relate with regard to obligation in this passage. And uh, we, we just need to listen to the passage and you will pick up these uh, uh, words of obligation from the speech itself. So let us read the passage now. Activities, I am all yours, activity seven. Your teacher will read to you the instructions given by the principal of AB College on the reopening day. Listen, listen to her carefully and then answer the questions that follow. Good morning, everybody. 
on the beginning of the new academic year i would like to inform you certain rules of the college everyone must come to college on time late comers should get written permission from the principal to enter their classes students must come in full uniform every day they may play games in the ground after college hours students should not bring mobile phones to the campus the college building classrooms corridors and the premises need to be kept clean and tidy any damage caused to the college property ought to be made good parents should meet the class teacher at least once a month they may contribute books to the college library whenever they celebrate occasions i wish you all a fruitful and enriching academic year so this is the speech given by a principal to her students on the beginning of the new academic year so most of these uh, sentences they use uh, these words of obligation that we just now mentioned okay. which are those words of obligations okay. must have to need to ought to should etc so all these are words of obligation obligation ennu parnga nammal cheyenda karyangal these are all words of obligation and these words are mostly used in essence and there is uh, one word which is used twice in in between these sentences and also at the end may okay so may is used as a suggestion and sometimes also as request so in the sentence they may play games in the ground after college hours okay so here in this sentence which i have highlighted in the text it is a suggestion okay it is a suggestion that they can they may play games in the ground after college hours it is a suggestion it is a suggestion to students so this is what the teach the principal is suggesting that is a suggestion similarly there is another suggestion which also sounds like a so the it is a, the same may which is used here in the last sentence that uh, when they have celebrating occasions like birthdays they may be uh, they may uh, uh, gift some books to the college library here the same may is used as a request see uh, so we find three different social functions being used in this passage must is used if you look at the first sentence you can see that must is used okay this is obligation should get written permission that is also obligation okay students must come must again students must come in full uniform and uh, negative instruction also you should not bring mobiles you can should not okay see premises need to be kept clean and tidy need the social function of obligation again any damage ought to be made good ought to the use of ought to ought to is used always together ought and matra when it is used ella ought to and the revision ought to to is always used with ought ought to be made good then parents should meet the class teacher at least once a month so all these are obligatory only the use of may in the beginning here and in the end here we have other usages other than obligation otherwise everything else is here obligation the social function of obligation there are some questions below this let us look at those questions some one, one of it is answered already can students wear casual dress to college no 
they must wear their uniform every day what should the late comers do what should the late comers do late comers should get return permission from the principal wonderful aishwarya very good yes anjana that's right very good very good thank you for those responses thank you aishwarya and anjana yes so that is there in the text itself this i should get return permission from the principal okay the next one uh, when can the students play games so here it is a suggestion when can the students play games the students can play games after college hours yes nandana thank you the students can play games after college hours students can play games after college hours how about mobile phones in the campus they should not Sharmali, bring that is mobile phones to the campus yes aishwarya they should not bring mobile phones into the campus what is the policy regarding damage to college property what is the policy regarding damage to college property they ought to be made good very good aishwarya they ought to be any damage to the college property ought to be made so the usage of ought can also be learned here so ought to be made good very good thank you aishwarya for that response okay the next one is how often can parents meet the class teacher how often can meet with the class teacher parents can meet the class teacher any number of times as required however they should meet the class teacher once a month very good anjana thank you for that response they can meet at uh, any number of times but at least once a month they should meet the class teacher and finally what is the request to students they can gift uh, books to the library when whenever they celebrate occasion wonderful thank you aishwarya so yes nandana thank you for that students may contribute books to the college library whenever they celebrate occasions like birthdays etc wonderful so these are all most of it if you look at the, all these uh, structures they are all obligation so there are uh, obligation structures of obligation here Okay. Structure of one structure of suggestion here, and one one request here. For both suggestion and request, the same uh, may is used. In one may uh, one uh, one sentence, the may stands as a suggestion, and in the last sentence, the may stands as a request. Okay. So yeah, let us now look at some sign boards. the sign boards are also uh, instructions they are also instructions but these instructions are not very long sentences they are just one word or two words or two three words etc they you don't find long sentences so these are uh, some sign boards you can see on the screen this is a kind of uh, question that you will also get for the exam it is a uh, two marks question that you can get for the exam where you have to write two things about each sign board okay one you have to write where, where is this scene okay that you can write as uh, one word but uh, the second thing we have to write is we have to write the meaning of the sentence okay meaning of that sign it should be written as full sentence okay you should write it as full sentence seen it can be written where do you see this uh, sign it can be written as just uh, one word but when you write the meaning it has to be written as full sentence so this will fetch you two marks there might be two or three signs which you will have to decipher to understand which will be there in the question paper and this is a sure question for the exam maybe you can mark it in your notebook that this is a sure question for the exam i think it is in page number 48 of the text okay in pdf it is page number 62 of the pdf 
Now the print page, it is page number 48, okay? So in that page, you will find these signboards. So signboards are also uh, obligations. That is things which we have to follow. Obligations which means things which we have to follow, okay? That is, uh, as I said earlier, it is need, it is our duty, etc. are indicated by these things. So one example has already been done for you. Don't walk on grass. It's a signboard which is seen at parks. And the meaning is, you must not walk on the grass. Okay, so you must not or you should not. All these structures can be used. You should not. You are not committed to So all these different structures can be used, but the, to use the proper structure, you can use any of these structures. So one example is given there, you can say that you must not work on the grass. Okay, the next uh, signboard is no parking. Where is this scene? Where do you see this signboard? Wonderful, Aishwarya, in front of buildings, it means that you must not park vehicles there. Wonderful, very nice. I have written it in very detail and seen it in front of buildings. You get full marks for this. Okay, so you must not park vehicles there. You must not park your vehicles there. Very good. So the next one is uh, uh, enter exact change. I will give you a hint because there is one difficult word there. It is seen in front of cash counters. Okay. In at Analurta, the meaning is at, yes, cash counters, shops, offices. Yes, Anjana. Nandana. Yes, that is right. Shops, offices. In sometimes in uh, railway stations, also in cash counters. What is the meaning of that? Tender means to give. Okay. Tender means to give. So what does it mean? Exactly, Nandana. There is no other answer. This is the answer. You should give exact amount of money. That is, you should give the exact amount of money. They, ha they have shortage of change. They have shortage of small currencies. That is exactly what it means. You should give the exact amount of money. Very good. What is the meaning of the next one? Where is it seen? It is a no smoking signboard. Wonderful Aishwarya, it is seen at schools, hospitals, and many other public places, institutions, yes, Nandana, offices, buses, vehicles, places of worship. Very good. What is the meaning of it? It means that you should. Yes, you can't smoke here. You can't smoke here so you can write it in different ways also you should not smoke at this place yes nandana that is right you can use different structures like you must not smoke here any any anything any structure can be used to get the same meaning and you will get full marks for that seen at petrol pumps also yes yes hana that is right it is very dangerous to smoke in petrol pumps because it can cause an explosion there it's also seen at petrol pumps very good Okay, the next signboard is footwear not allowed. Footwear not allowed. Very good. Temples, shops, labs. Yes, Aishwarya, Nandana, KP. It is uh, temple shops, labs. Not only temples, all places of worship. Okay, all places of worship. You see this, you know, this is a temple. Or, uh, yes, operation theaters, yes like most uh, churches everywhere you see this uh, 
uh, in actually in the there is a saying that uh, in the bible itself i think uh, this is uh, oh i don't remember the exact uh, words uh, but it says that uh, i think it is from the bible uh, where it says that you should remove yes yes i should you should not wear footwear when you enter there you something like the the verse in the bible begins like this you stand upon holy ground and you should remove your footwear angane endo oru varigalum undu bible la i'm not very maybe christians may be able to recollect the verse better so you stand upon holy ground and you should remove your footwear so you should not wear your footwear at the place yes that is right nandan anjana anjana ke santosh yes that is correct so footwear not allowed very good okay the next one is no admission nammada college la admission aano diploma admission kaiyu ini admission illa enna naan aano ayin artham adalla vera oru meaning no admission means yes it is seen at private offices food processing centers hotels very good nandana aishwarya yes and in front of kitchens of hotels etc so what is the meaning of it no admission very good exactly nandana i can't put it better you are not allowed to enter the place i was actually going to type the same thing you have already done it very good you are not allowed to enter inside you are not allowed to enter the place that is the exact meaning of this uh, sign board okay the next one is a very common sign board which we see nowadays in many places okay so where are they seen seen at hospitals in uh, conference rooms uh, in uh, schools churches temples wonderful jilsh very good so many people have uh, jilsha thank you for that response nandana yes yes aishwarya flights hana that is right so that is right we fly, see it in all these places and the meaning of it is very simple that uh, you should uh, switch off your mobile phones you must switch off your all your phones you must switch off all your phones okay you have come up with the answer for the next also okay very good anjana uh, aishwarya and uh, i think anjana has come up with the answer for the next one and nandana also so then we will move on to the next one these are all traffic signs okay they are all traffic signs okay so seen at idinde ok common irikum seen at ennu parayumbo you can ellathinum common aayittu namukku ezhudan pattunnana traffic idu we uh, there are seven sign boards here all these seven we, it has a common seen at they are all traffic traffic signs so the first one as uh, nandana and uh, i think aishwarya has said you must stop your vehicle here you must stop your vehicle here very good so that is the first sign board the second one is an inverted triangle in the triangle and adile to read it and it is a clue for you anyone guess it means what is the meaning of that anyone can guess exactly actually actually i had written the same thing uh we have put it very nicely you must give way for other vehicles when you are riding on the road don't think that the road is yours there was actually an advertisement also on the tv if you remember i think one year ago or two years ago where it says that sadak teri baaki nahi hai 
that the road does not belong to your father, that you should give way to other vehicles. So the road doesn't belong to us. We have to drive on the road, but also consider other vehicles also require space. So you must give way to other vehicles. OK. Next sign, if there is a right arrow with a crossbar, it says that right turn prohibited. So how will you? So it says prohibited. OK. Prohibited means stopped, not allowed. Prohibited marginal, not allowed man. Okay. So I can write it like this. It can be written in a very simple manner. You are not allowed to turn right. Oh, there is the next one is a circle with 45 written there. So how will you write this? Write it as a sentence. You write it as a sentence. Must you see the two You must. You must. Must you see the two the negative way to them. You should not. You must not to them. Okay. So one way of writing is it. Uh, it is. You must name it this. Okay. Or. Very good, Nandana. You should limit your speed to less than 45 km per hour. Wonderful. Very nice. Thank you for that response. Or I can also write it in a negative manner. Wonderful, Aishwarya. You must not increase your speed than 45 km per hour. So you can write it in different ways. Very good, Aishwarya. So you should not exceed the speed of uh, 45 km per hour. Okay. So in many ways, you can uh, write it as a sentence. The next one is a one-way sign. So when you write, when you write it as a sentence, I can write it like this. And you can also write uh, in a negative sense also. You can also write it in the negative sense. It must not come in the reverse direction. Okay. So you can write it both as positive and negative sentences. Okay, When you write it as positive, we write as you should go only in the forward direction. When I write it as a negative, we can write as you must not come in the reverse direction also. OK. The next uh, symbol, it says that you compulsorily, compulsory turn left. When you write it as a sentence, you should make a small change with compulsory and you write it as compulsorily. And then we're going to turn on the sentence later. So you should compulsorily turn left here. So you should compulsorily turn left here. You must compulsorily turn left. Aba compulsory in the line of order. I why my cheat I yell which are the turn on the lady. You should Nurbanda my tum and look. You should compulsorily turn left here. Okay. Is it clear? Okay, I think it is clear for you. The last one is it has two options actually. 
though it is a compulsory direction it says padonna idan pattu arkengilum onna first one is compulsorily turn left mattedu rendu option undu onnu gele left thiriyam alleke nere ponam edengilum onnu cheyanam so how will you write that the structure you see am chetha right modify cheyadam adhi end il modify cheyadam adhi wonderful very good exactly you should compulsorily turn left or go ahead exactly there is no change in that i should yeah that is correct you should compulsorily turn left or go ahead anu varnal onnigil nere poga allengil left thiriya anu varnal right like onnum thiriyirud reverse direction illum povan padilla compulsorily turn ahead or turn left left wonderful so the, these are all the kinds of sign boards that we see and uh, you will get any of these sign boards or some other sign board appo idil kodutha thanne avanunnilla poduve kaanunna sign boards okke namukku varavunnana namukku palappolum pala sign boards um for example ingane oru sign board ko undengile what does it mean ingane oru sign board um chalappa nammal kaanu wonderful yes you can't speak here you may, you should not speak here pala reethiyile namukku adu edan pattum ingane edu reethiyile veninga you should must not talk here enna appo just it may be just one word or two words and it it conveys a message so what is the message that is conveyed where is it seen ee rendu karyangalana parishiki varumbolum sign board namukku parishiki idenna avanalla you can have any sign board that comes for the exam when you see that sign board ജസ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് സീനറ്റ് എന്നുള്ളിടത്ത് സ്ഥലത്തിൻ്റെ പേര് എവിടെയാണ് കാണുക പബ്ലിക് പ്ലേസസ് ആണോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സ്കൂൾസ് ആണോ ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽസ് ആണോ വേർ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് സീൻ എന്നുള്ളത് ജസ്റ്റ് ഒരു വാക്കിലോ രണ്ട് വാക്കിലോ എഴുതാം ആൻഡ് മീനിങ് ഷുഡ് ബി റിട്ടൺ ആസ് എ ഫുൾ സെറ്റൽസ് സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഫോർ ടുഡേ താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ ജോയിനിങ് ഹാവ് എ വണ്ടർഫുൾ ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ ഗുഡ് ബൈ താങ്ക് യു സാർ താങ്ക് യു സാർ താങ്ക് യു സാർ താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു Thank you.